Have you ever wondered, how does a mother's consumption of alcohol affect a developing fetus or even a breastfeeding baby? A question that might have crossed your mind, especially if you are navigating the journey of motherhood or know someone who is. In this day and age, with the abundance of information available, it can be hard to discern fact from fiction. This is particularly true when it comes to understanding the impact of alcohol during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Is it harmful? If so, how? Well, that's exactly what we are here for. Over the next few minutes, we'll delve into this critical topic, exploring the science and the effects of alcohol on a fetus and a breastfeeding baby. We'll provide clear factual information, backed by scientific research to help us understand this better. So, are you ready to unravel this mystery? Let's dive into this critical topic and uncover some truths. Scene script. Imagine a tiny, fragile life growing inside a protective womb, dependent entirely on its mother for nourishment and care. When a woman becomes pregnant, her body undergoes a series of extraordinary changes to create a nurturing environment for the developing fetus. Her heart beats more powerfully, her blood volume increases, and her hormones fluctuate, all in service of this new life. At the center of this transformation is the placenta, a remarkable organ that forms specifically for pregnancy. Acting as a lifeline, the placenta connects the mother and fetus, allowing oxygen and nutrients to flow from mother to child, while simultaneously removing waste products from the baby's bloodstream. But the placenta isn't just a one-way street, it's also a gateway, meaning that just as it allows essential nutrients to pass through, it can also let potentially harmful substances in. And this isn't a selective process. The placenta doesn't differentiate between what's good and what's bad. So what does this mean? Well, when a mother consumes certain substances like alcohol, they can cross this placental barrier and reach the fetus. Let's dive deeper into this. When a pregnant woman drinks alcohol, it enters her bloodstream and is carried to all parts of her body, including the placenta. Once there, the alcohol easily crosses over into the baby's bloodstream, where it can interfere with vital developmental processes. This is because, unlike adults, fetuses lack the ability to process or metabolize alcohol effectively. Their livers are still developing, and their bodies are much smaller and more sensitive. Therefore, when alcohol enters their system, it stays there much longer, causing more damage than it would in an adult body. And remember, it's not just about the immediate effects. Alcohol exposure in utero can lead to long-term health and developmental issues for the child, some of which may not become apparent until later in life. And this is where alcohol enters the picture. Alcohol, a common substance, but potentially harmful for our little one. Let's delve into why this is. When an expecting mother consumes alcohol, it doesn't just affect her, but also the developing fetus inside her. The alcohol travels through the mother's blood and into the baby's blood, tissues, and organs. That's right, whatever the mother drinks, the baby drinks too. Now you might be wondering, what harm can a little alcohol do? The answer is quite a bit. One of the main concerns is fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, or FASDs. This is an umbrella term for a range of disorders that can occur in a person whose mother drank alcohol during pregnancy. These effects can include physical problems and problems with behavior and learning. Physically, the baby might suffer from abnormal facial features, such as a smooth ridge between the nose and upper lip. They could also have a smaller head and shorter than average height. The baby's organs, particularly the heart, could also be affected. Moving on to cognitive development, Children with FASDs often have issues with learning, memory, attention span, communication, vision, or hearing. They might struggle with schoolwork, have a hard time getting along with others, or face challenges in everyday social interactions. It's important to note that there's no safe amount of alcohol during pregnancy. Any amount can pose risks. And the more a mother drinks, the higher the risk of complications and the more severe the potential effects on the baby can be. In the end, it's not just about the mother's choices. It's about the lifelong effects those choices can have on another human being. It's about the health, the potential, and the future of a child. And remember, it's never too late to stop drinking. Even if a mother has already consumed alcohol during pregnancy, stopping or cutting back can still help reduce the risk of further harm to the baby. But what about after the baby is born and breastfeeding begins? A breastfeeding, a beautiful bond between mother and child, but can alcohol tarnish this bond? As with pregnancy, the period of breastfeeding also requires a mother's careful attention to what she consumes. A common question that arises is whether it is safe to drink alcohol while breastfeeding. 
The simple answer is, alcohol does pass into breast milk, but the extent of its effects on the baby depends on several factors. When a breastfeeding mother consumes alcohol, some amount of it gets transferred to her milk. Now this doesn't mean that the baby gets drunk, but it does mean that the baby's still developing liver has to process the alcohol. Babies metabolize alcohol at about half the rate of adults, meaning it stays in their system longer. Now let's delve into the potential impacts of this. Some research suggests that even moderate alcohol consumption can affect a baby's sleep patterns. Babies who were exposed to alcohol through breast milk were found to wake up more frequently during the night. This might not sound like a big deal, but sleep is incredibly important for a baby's development. Another significant area of concern is motor development. Some studies have indicated that infants exposed to even one drink per day might show impaired motor development. This could potentially impact their ability to crawl, walk, and perform other motor tasks. Additionally, alcohol in breast milk might alter the taste, making the baby less inclined to breastfeed. This could lead to a decrease in milk intake, affecting the baby's growth and development. Lastly, it's worth noting that the effects of alcohol on a breastfeeding baby are not fully understood. More research is needed to fully comprehend the long-term impacts. However, as a rule of thumb, it's always safer to err on the side of caution. So what can we conclude from all this information? Well, while an occasional drink might not cause significant harm, regular or heavy drinking can potentially impact your baby's development and well-being. Therefore, if you choose to drink while breastfeeding, it's crucial to do so responsibly and in moderation. Navigating motherhood can be a challenge, especially with so many factors to consider. This journey we've embarked upon together has led us through a myriad of information, pointing to one central theme, the potential impact of alcohol on a fetus and a breastfeeding baby. We've delved into the science behind pregnancy, shedding light on the intricate pathways that allow nutrients and potentially harmful substances like alcohol to reach the developing fetus. We've discovered that alcohol in any amount can have detrimental effects on a fetus. It can interfere with the normal development, leading to a range of conditions collectively known as fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. These disorders can manifest as physical abnormalities, behavioral issues, and cognitive impairments that can persist throughout a person's life. We've also explored the relationship between alcohol and breastfeeding. Research suggests that breastfed babies who are exposed to even one drink a day may have impaired motor development. In addition, alcohol can cause changes in sleep patterns, which could potentially disrupt the baby's growth and development. So what does this mean for expecting and new mothers? The message is clear. It's best to avoid alcohol during pregnancy and while breastfeeding. If you choose to drink, it's essential to understand the potential risks and take steps to minimize your baby's exposure to alcohol. This might mean planning ahead and expressing milk before consuming alcohol or waiting a sufficient amount of time after drinking before breastfeeding. It's also important to note that pumping and dumping doesn't remove alcohol from the milk. It's the passage of time that allows the alcohol to leave your system. In the end, it's about making informed decisions. Motherhood is a journey, and every journey has its challenges. But remember, the choices you make today can influence your child's future. Every decision, every action, has the potential to shape the person they will become. Remember, the choices you make can have a lasting impact on your child's life. We've journeyed together through a topic that touches the lives of many, We've explored the profound effects of a mother's alcohol consumption on a developing fetus and a breastfeeding baby. We've seen how the choices we make can significantly impact the health and well-being of our children. As we've discovered, the science is clear. Alcohol can affect a baby's development in the womb and can cause changes in a breastfeeding baby's sleep patterns and motor development. But remember, this is not meant to scare you. It's meant to inform and empower you, to help you make the best decisions for your child. So let's take this knowledge and do something with it. Share it with others. Talk to your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions. Let's ensure that every child gets the best possible start in life. Stay informed, stay healthy, and remember, every choice counts when it comes to the well-being of your child. Before we close, if you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support is what fuels our passion to create more content like this. By liking and sharing, you're helping us spread this crucial information and potentially helping a child get a healthier start in life. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more videos that aim to inform and empower you. Remember, every choice counts when it comes to the well-being of your child, and every like, 
share, and subscribe counts when it comes to spreading this knowledge.